Hello everyone, my name is Bonnie Yu. I work for the Michigan Department of Transportation and I was the construction project manager on this Fort Street Basco Bridge project. I was very lucky to work on this project as it's not often that MDOT builds bascule or movable bridges. This new bridge is built to last 100 years and the existing bridge lasted 90 years. This new bridge is a rolling lift bascule bridge with an overhead counterweight. The large overhead counterweight is constructed of steel trusses and filled with concrete. The deck of the bridge, which is also called the bascule leaf, is the second largest in the world, and it's approximately the same weight as a concrete counterweight as it has to be in order to balance the bridge. This bridge took approximately three years to build, which is a really long time compared to an ordinary bridge, which takes less than a year. The machinery room is located in the front of the overhead counterweight. It houses all of the operating machinery, which includes um, the motors, brakes, primary and secondary reducers, and pinions and gears. These are all the mechanics that make the bridge open and close. They built the bridge leaf on land, and when it was ready, the contractor had to close the river for approximately 15 days to slide the bridge leaf across the river and to put it in place. And then also they had to make sure that the concrete counterweight and the bridge leaf balance before they were able to open the bridge. There were some challenges during the construction of this project. I'd say the most difficult ones were coordinating river closures, fabrication delays, and utility conflicts. The fabricator had three separate plants fabricating all the structural and mechanical components. This was because one plant couldn't handle all the work and the large quantity of components. There were many utilities that had to be relocated to construct this new bridge. During the design process of a project, we always try to locate all utilities and identify and plan for ones that will be in conflict with the proposed work. However, sometimes it's a different story during construction after the roadway is removed and excavations begin. Although I faced many challenges on this project, I would still consider myself lucky to have been part of the team that built this Baskill Bridge. Thank you.